Excuse me, friend. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We're gonna be doing some vlogging today because of the nasty weather. It's not the best for the dangle. We're gonna take a little bit of a pause on the bass scene. I think it's just enough rain to knock them back off those shallows. The last video, I got my first, my first bite up in the shallows. Fish starting to move up in my area. Super exciting, but I think this is gonna knock the bass out. It might get uh, the white bass and species that use some current really going and getting them into the spawn. So. I'm thinking, my brain's turning, but I'm gonna start you guys out with something exciting today. I am going to be giving a bow away. And I'm not just talking about any bow, y'all. I'm talking about fully customized bow for you. And it's gonna be a nice brand new Bowtech bow. I'm gonna pick it out. I'm gonna customize it. Let me just set y'all down right here on the old milk crate. So this is my newest bow right here, y'all. This is the Bowtech Revolt. This is one of their newest bows, and it is a adjustable cam system. Unlock, shift your cams, lock it back in place. That allows you to tune your bow very easily. The only thing I don't like about it is just kind of the, the colors of it. It's just kind of a flat gray. I just, I got something generic because I could get it really quick. Since it's the yucky day, we're hanging out here in the fish cave. Let's go over to the computer. I'm gonna build the bow, like the exact bow that one of you is gonna get. Let's build this bow, y'all. And maybe a hair jealous that you're getting the fully customized bow with all the colors that I'm picking out, and I'm just getting the gray one, but I digress. You're gonna love it. We're going with the Revolt X, y'all. It's 33 inches axle to axle. It's got a little bit more stability than the Revolt. So let's get into the colors. Now on the riser, which is the main part of the bow, the body of the bow, we're gonna go with classic camo. Y'all, I'm always wearing this style camo. I love it. I, it just never goes out of style. I mean, I'm daggum, I'm wearing a hat right now that's that. My original fish and free cat. This is basically gonna look like the bow. The bow is gonna look like the original fish and free cat, just to give it away a little bit. Go with that Woodlands color on the riser, on the limbs. We're gonna go same thing. On the grip, how about a little Guggen Green action? Oh yes. On the orbit, we're going Guggen Green. Draw weight, I'm gonna put y'all at 60 pounds. I think that's the happy medium for everybody. Let's move on. And this is gonna be a right-handed bow because I think probably 90% of y'all are right-handed. And that is it, y'all. This is what I would personally build for myself. That classic Woodlands camo and then little green accents because of Guggen, come on now. So that is it. I thought that was a pretty cool thing for Bowtech to do for you guys. So if you want to enter and win this bow essentially, except even more awesome because it's favorite colors of mine. Link to win the bow at the top of the description y'all. Click on it, go there, answer a couple of quick questions and you'll be entered to win. And keep it locked right here for updates on you potentially winning this bow, or you can follow me on the socials. I'll be announcing it over there as well. We're also gonna show you guys the process, building the bow, and I'm gonna be signing it. So it is a fully customized bow signed by me. I mean, you can always hang it up in your house and be like, hey, I got a customized bow uh, signed by an internet fisherman. But I suggest that you go out and you get it bloody. But this one right here is humming darts, y'all. I need to break the ice with it, go on a pig hunt or something. We're uh, unpacking some of our stuff from Mexico. For alert, we did not go through all the plastics down in Mexico. You, you probably could have guessed that. So came back with a few extras. Uh, we actually gave a ton of it to a lot of the, uh, the fishermen from uh, Monterey down there in Mexico. They were already fans of the baits anyways. And we've actually got uh, some of the stores down there st stocked. So that was neat, really neat to see. And they're, they're always catching big fish on our baits down there. So we gave them a bunch of those. And I got a few extras for myself because I was running low. And I'm actually putting together a little uh, little care package for, uh, for a neighbor friend of mine. I'm actually going to do, do some creek exploration this afternoon. And uh, I'm putting together my little, my little tactical bag here. I'm just taking a backpack. 
uh, and I'm going to take one spinning rod, one spinning rod and reel. And what I'm doing is I'm looking for early season white bass spawners moving up into the creeks because the water, the moon phase right now, the temperatures, it could be triggering them to go ahead and spawn. I mean, they're going to be doing it any day, so I'm going to get the old muck boots on and we're going to go trudging around in the creeks. And uh, one of my neighbor friends, he's closer to the creek, uh, one of the creeks than I am. So uh, I'm going to be going over there since I'm over there. He's a fisherman. Going to give him some googan. Basic essentials, crack and crawls, mondo worms, trench hogs. We've got some hammer hooks in there. Stuff like that all in the money bag. And um, for me, I'm just going to be taking, I'm going to take a few uh, spinner baits and crank baits. And then I'm also going to take some rooster tails, you know, these sort of things, these little rooster tail sort of things. Always good for white bass in the spring, lipless crankbaits, um, small little square bill crankbaits uh, like this. This is the uh, mini banger and maybe a spinner bait if they're big juicy ones, but uh, little small shad imitating lures usually get it done. Excuse me, friend. Hey, buddy. Stop following me. This is my, uh, this is my buddy's goat. And uh, he's very curious, as you can see. Very stinky as well. So, we are on the lake trails right now. Super muddy. And uh, this is also an area that I've seen a lot of hogs in, which I bet. They're gonna be coming out tonight because you know, just look at this game trail right here. Look at the game. What I need to do is come set up here for hogs, like in the evening. One of these days I'm gonna do it, but I got I just got the dangle on the mine pretty hard right now. <laughs> it's always the thing, right? Hunting and fishing. What do you do? But no matter what, I always like just walking around in the woods. Almost always see something interesting. I just hope it has legs today or fins. Things with no legs not too fond of. I haven't been back here in a while, but there's this much water on the trail. It's not looking too promising. I just hope that it's not just chocolate milk back there. And I can actually get back there. I might have to cross some serious water. Dad gum. I know that was not water, like 24 hours ago. Okay, we're definitely having to go into the daggum snake pits here. Oh, can I make that jump? Yeah, I don't know about that. I have to do the old, old peeker technique here. The peeker. I have to just put my foot down, see what we're dealing with. How deep is it? Like right there. Oh, we got this. We got this. First obstacle, we got it. Oh, I have a fishing rod, that's not gonna work. Second crossing, looking a little more tame. Little hoggies. That's a big paw there. Yeah. Some decent little flow. We got about 15, 20 more minutes of hiking. It's good, it's good for the heart and soul. I need, I need to do this more. September comes at you fast, and I want to get an elk so bad this season. That reminds me, I need to apply for my tags. I think today is, is the day. I love sitting in a tree for whitetails, but there's something about it. hiking up a mountain, looking for big animals. Whew, just makes you feel alive. Oh. <sighs> The water is chocolate milk. This may not be the jam, but I've walked, I've hiked for 30 minutes. So if you think I'm not gonna make a cast. Oh, shnikes. Oh. Dead gummit, what is that? Is it dead? Oh my God, that's a freaking water moxin. It's dead though, it looks like. Ah, 
Well, that's exactly the thing I didn't want to run into. Oh my gosh. That honestly kind of looks like a, a copperhead, but it's so short and fat. I'm not sure. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think that is. I think it's copperhead. I think it's copperhead because I've seen this chartreuse tail before. Killed one in my yard. And uh, they flick that around, I think, try to attract things. But, yep, the old copper top sitting by the bank. Gives me the heebie-jeebies. Now I'm just going to be looking at the ground. Came in hot right there on a hot step. The quick steps. Now I'm going to be pretty slow. And let's make, let's make some casts. My heart rate right now is 108. Oh, okay, it's kind of doing this like light grizzle thing. It's pretty annoying, but... I'm gonna try throwing, this is the brightest colored rooster tail I have. It's like a crawfish colored, it's weird, but gold blade, it's got a black um, deal on it. So I think it'll stand out fairly good in this water. I just, just saw some sort of fish come up to the surface. I don't know what kind it was. And what happens in the spring is um, the white bass, they need another like striped bass species. They need current to, to spawn. So they'll, they'll run up in creeks it doesn't have to be creeks it can be pockets too just as long as there's some current going on some flow and they'll gather together and spread their eggs like a cast down the pipe here Go oh oh dad got that's a I thought that was a fish I think I got a stick oh little snake stay away from me Okay, I'm going to try one more spot over here, and that's the ball game, folks. Somebody's been coming up here, catching them. There's a fire right there. I've seen little lure packages and whatnot. i got a plan B here. I passed a pond on the way here. I've never fished it. Got permission. I'm going to go give it a quick dangle. I'm going to trek back now. At least I got some footwork in. I'm going to go fish one more spot. But I am gonna do something first. I'm gonna take this copper-headed ninny muggins, danger noodle, AKA Satan sausage, and I'm gonna just toss this thing off the path, right back in there. So whoever comes down this path next, you're welcome. Scared the old jeebers out of me. Okay, we are here at the pond. These are the giant dogs that guard all the farm life here. Uh, they actually ate a bobcat just um, just last week, so gave them some treats. I think they're gonna let me fish here at the little pond. I'm out of breath. Yeah, I'm wet like you guys. Probably don't smell good either. I don't have any more treats for you guys, so I'm just gonna have to deal with that I'm sorry this has been a very interesting vlog here today I don't know if there's any bass in here my neighbor friend just asked me to check I think there used to be some bass and like there was a flood and they washed out or something I'm not sure but if there's any bass in here this is the ticket oh hey that's a snag got, a, got some snags in here it's been my experience that Anytime you're fishing a little farm pond like this, the bass are almost always around the bank, especially in the spring. That's just where most of the, the food comes in. It's where the most cover is. It's like little vegetation, little minnows live around the sides. Just most of the ecosystem lives right there on the edge. So there's not a huge need uh, to throw out in the middle unless there's a lot of cover out there, which I doubt there is in here. I don't think there was any in there, y'all. I think they got washed out. One more little adventure today. Speaking of farms, I need to run up to the farm farm store and see if they have some of the new chickens in. We're starting a quest uh, at the treehouse. We're, we're trying to, well, you guys have seen, seen me build uh, the chicken coop and everything. We've got our new hen house, and now it is time to start looking at different breeds, raising up some chicks, some pullets, and I've been researching species, and there's some crazy ones out there, but I've got a couple of local farm stores. I'm gonna go see what they got for us. 
You, sir, could use a throat lozenge. Silver gray door keys. They got one little barred rock left. He's in there somewhere. He's over there, by the there he is. One little barred rock. They do have the Easter eggers. Look at that. Egger. He's very good at egg laying. Imagine that. Hi. Hi. I've located them. Oh. Was it good down there? No, the fishing sucked. I'm talking about oh. chickens. Dang, I was excited. <laughs> You were excited for fish. Did you want me to bring home some fish? Put no, it in the golden crispy grease. You to be excited. Oh, you're excited for me to be excited? I love you, babe. Yeah, you. Well, on a serious note, come here, because I got, I got, I got found them. I found, I found some assortments. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. Bard rock left. One, one little bard rock. One tiny little guy. Where, where is he? He, oh, he's, he he's right there. Oh. He's mixed in with uh, some leghorns. Brown leg horns. Brown leg, leg These horns. are pretty cool chickens that they have up there. That bad boy. They do have the Easter Eggers. Ah! We got the Easter Eggers. We need to get some of those. I see. I knew it. They're so cute. I know. Look at them. And then they've got one that I looked at that I was I was going to try to find, and they actually have it here. Silver gray dorkings. Interesting. Oh yeah. Uh, I think we should get. I think should we get two of these, and maybe that little barred rock, the one like he's meant Easter to be. Egger. Yeah, yeah, the Easter eggers too. Okay. All of them. All of them. We're just All gonna, of them. We're just, come here, little chairs. Yes. In basket. We'll take exactly. Your anyway, local farm stores, pretty helpful. Yeah. Pretty helpful. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I think we're gonna go up there and get some exciting news for Lake Life Family Channel. Have you gotten an update today uh, on our uh, comments? Do we have comments? Uh, no, not yet. Anyways, we're in conversations to get our comments yes. back. So uh, I think it's gonna happen. It should thank be within you. the next week. Yes, but thank you guys for going over there and subscribing. We hit the 100,000 mark, and uh, uh, as soon as we did, we sent we sent the um, sent the chat out to YouTube. We're like, What's hey, going turn on? our daggum comments on. Like, oh, you guys don't have comments? Well, let's work on that. Anyway, that's linked down below if you want to follow us in our journey to get the golden egg, uh, nutrient nutrient rich omega three packed golden egg. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Did you want to give me a hug right there? And then you paused. Maybe. Okay. I have been outside all day Maybe too, not. like in the rain. You've been mulching. Yeah, I've been Raining. mulching. Did you, tell, did you show them my progress? I have not we yet. We will wait for the later. Yeah, exactly. We, and we got, this is our egg for the day. So there's going to be a lot more of those where that came from. Literally. Looks like we got Ava Good Life avocados happening in the kitchen. It's going to be a tasty treat tonight. What are we having? All you're going to have for dinner. What are we going to have? <laughs> Elk fajitas. Elk fajitas with avocado. That sounds pretty good to me. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, y'all, I'm going to shut it down right here because elk fajitas sound pretty good. And um, hey, don't forget if you want to sign up to win that free bow, link down below. So, anyway, thank you for tuning in to each and every single outdoor adventure. God bless you. And I will see you on the next one. Uh -huh.